Hey guys, so if you're new to Trovo, obviously we're kind of lacking in the UI and custom alerts and overlays and that kind of department. Well, boom, guess who's got chat? Okay, so that's what today's video is going to be about. Stick around and we will go over it. The first thing you're actually going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Trovo page, go to your chat settings, and open up your pop-up chat. And then you're going to go ahead and grab the link that it gives you. I'm using Chromium Edge. Um, I haven't tested this in other browsers, but disclaimer. Then you're going to come over to your OBS. Mine is smushed because otherwise you get major picture and picture and picture and picture. And nobody wants that while they're trying to watch the tutorial video. So, um, you're going to go ahead and go over here, and then you're going to add a browser source, and you can call it whatever you want, Trovo Overlay, well, I got to use a unique name, and I already have a source, so, then you're going to go ahead and paste this in here. Now, this is where things get kind of weird, um, you can't just resize it once it's in there, so you're going to want to set custom settings, uh, for what you saw earlier. I personally did a 600 by 800. Bloop. So then you're going to have that right there. Well, that's not really the greatest to look at. So what you can do is you're going to go back to your overlay, click on filters, and then we're going to go ahead and click down here and use crop and pad. Now, for the 600 by 800, um, it was approximately 120 on the bottom. And then I believe it was 25? Nope, 50. Yep, there we go. So it's 50 on the top, and it'll cut down to just the chat. Now, you can adjust that and go further. Obviously, if you want less lines of text, then you're going to have to increase this further and further and just kind of adjust it until it eventually gets where you want it and you have to tinker with the numbers. And I just went ahead and tested this with the full screen because I wanted to see if this would work. So then once that's done, you're not going to leave this menu. You're actually going to go ahead and add a chroma key. Boom. And then I went ahead and did a custom color. And let's see, I hopefully I saved it, but what you can do is you can do select color and then pick screen color and then go into your overlay, click on the background and it'll pick it, which I have mine saved. So we're going to go ahead and grab that and then hit apply. And then what I did was I turned my similarity all the way down, but we're still missing the text. So what I did was I turned that down to two. And the reason for two is, one, you get a little bit more of an outline on all the text. So that's an option if you want a, a kind of an outline for your text. Um, and then if you went to three, it starts eating into the text. So you don't want to go too high because then your text will look funky unless you're going for a style. I mean, I won't judge. Key color spill reduction. I believe I turned that off. And voila. Now you have your chat as an overlay. And like I said, you can adjust it. You can increase the crop, the pad, blah, blah, blah. Just play with it. This is the best way I know of currently to get your chat into your Trovo stream. Like I said, you can play with it. You can adjust it. Do whatever you want with it. Have fun. But this is the basics to get you on your way if you're looking for this. This isn't something everybody's going to use, and that's fine too. So... Thank you guys for watching. If uh, you want more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, drop some comments. Let me know what you're looking for in Trovo. I do plan to start doing a bit more on YouTube, so uh, fingers crossed. If it works out, it works out. If it don't, well, at least I tried. So thank you guys again, and have a good one.